This is an agreement. I think if we all have, I know this is why you're doing this, if we all have an agreement of here's a set of principles and we can say to our, the people that we work with, the students, the faculty, hey, this is what we've all agreed on. The idea was that this contact would be a result of the input from a real broad spectrum of the players or stakeholders or however you want to call them in this campus community partnership. And so we have been successful in including young people, residents, college students, college faculty, college administrators, um, community organization executive directors, their staff. It's been a real broad spectrum. In the four forums we've had, we've had at least probably 85, 90 people attending. So there's been real great representation. And the idea is that this compact, we can say, comes out of this broad, this input from this broad group of people. So we believe this should carry some weight. So that program has delivered to Holyoke a number of technology systems and other kind of resources that we would never be able to afford. That they deliver us the students with capacity or that they're in the process mm -hmm. of gaining that capacity and at the end there is a a project, there it's is an outcome, there is something that's tangible for us. Benefit. Absolutely. There's a clear benefit and then <clears throat> Um, ¿Cómo dice? De confianza. Yeah. The trust, trust. trust is very important too. Trust that generates commitment. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. They probably know what the expectations are. It's homework okay. health. They don't have to do other things. They don't have to do research. They don't have to plan activities, they don't, so they come in, they do homework, and I think that's helpful for college students to have almost a job description for any so Clear expectations. Clear expectations. Or set them up. He has contracts with whoever's coming in here. There's a contract and what you have to leave behind and what the benchmarks are mm. for each. So that well, it's interesting to have a real clear criteria of the students coming to him and just here it is. Um, as an advisory board or a steering committee, would make decisions about how that relationship between the university and the community operates. So, like, if the university is in and want to do a project, then the community would have sort of the ultimate say over how that project takes place and whether or not it takes place. So that they'll be in charge of making all the decisions. Like, if they don't want that project to go, then yeah. Or they may be in charge. I mean, that's theoretically what I would see it happening. Or they may be in charge of like if there is a funding opportunity that the, the, the partnership wants to go after, then they would be helping to make the decisions or making recommendations about decisions as far as how the budget is spent. So how much of the budget goes to the community and how much goes to the university. But maybe we need these anonymous stories, confidential stories, and anecdotes of things that have gone wrong. But for you, I have more cases. No, I'm just sharing. I drink for you. So, so the, the theme of the agency is not working as... They're working for the community. For they the they community. want to help the community. I know they do, but so they need to work with, with, them. with them. That's different. It makes forward. a big difference. Mm -hmm. so it makes a huge difference. So the theme is agencies different. work... Uh, 
to have colleges and community agencies come to residents on their turf to learn from them about their community needs. So the actions that are recommended so far, where community organizations need support, so that's going to be from uh, colleges, in compensation for considerable investments of time to mentor and train students and academics. Uh, will be um, what would that mean in terms of your uh, your uh, time, meaning money, and the resources that you put out? What would it mean for me? I mean, for now on, I ask, what am I getting out of this at the I end? Like that. <laughs> well, I mean, do I have to implement it? You know, huh? What is the cost, actually? What is the cost? What do I get out? Well, the thing right. is, is that it's exactly what Laura just said. What is it going to take to implement? Because if at the end. I'm the one that has to write a proposal, that costs me money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I'm the one that has to find the resources, that's going to cost, you know, that might be totally impossible. The, yeah, the, college, the college students left, like, right. what am I going to do now? Like, a lot of them, so a lot is, of is the person who runs the program, you think they're going to help you? Maybe, but that's, yeah. that's too far to tell from now. But hopefully, from like we won't be lost. Or we won't be, yeah, like, that's important. If we got money, like what are we gonna do now? Like, are you gonna? What about um, are we gonna, Larry from New Mass? I wonder if he'll have new students. Yeah. Who was it? Maria, who said lovers for a semester. Is that, and that yeah. really struck yeah. everyone's yeah. mind. Yeah. So the dream, right, and I hope I'm not the jumping vision. too quick, mm -hmm. is all. that what a number of us have said that what would work for mm -hmm. us if in each of the colleges there was that CDL or whatever you, you know, the community-based learning office or the community engagement we'll office or a capstone project <coughs> is there, there is someone that we then connect with. We eventually start working with the students, but that there is someone on the other end that's holding people accountable and keeping them to meet the benchmarks. Well, I will agree to only accept the faculty and students with regard to the orientation. It's a big orientation. So Betty, are you are you hoping that eventually, say, the chancellors or presidents or deans or provosts would then sign on to the conference? Absolutely. Okay. At least that's always been my mm. desire, because then that will then support the faculty and department heads that bring their students and do all this work um, here in the community. Because at least.